right now beyond the calm edges of our solar system, something impossible just happened. The object known as 3I slash ATLAS, an interstellar visitor unlike anything ever seen before, has erupted from within itself. Telescopes captured it flaring brighter than any previous observation, then suddenly NASA's live feed went dark. Every major observatory tracking it, from the James Webb Space Telescope to ground-based arrays in Chile, lost visual contact within seconds. And no one knows why. Did NASA shut it down intentionally? Or did something out there cause the blackout? Scientists are terrified because this eruption might not be an explosion, it might be an awakening. Before we dive deeper, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments. I want to know where in the world you're watching this moment in cosmic history unfold. Because tonight, we stand on the edge of discovery, and possibly the edge of something far greater than we can comprehend. Just a few months ago, 3 I slash ATLAS was thought to be another icy wanderer, drifting silently through the dark between stars. But what made it different, what made it extraordinary, uh, was that it came from outside our solar system, a true interstellar visitor. It was first spotted by astronomers using the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii, who noticed something peculiar. Its light was inconsistent. It pulsed faintly, like a heartbeat. Most comets reflect sunlight in predictable ways, but 3 I slash ATLAS shimmered irregularly, almost as if it were responding to something. At first, scientists thought it might be rotating oddly, tumbling through space. But then, high-resolution images from the Hubble telescope revealed something stranger. Inside its cold, rocky shell were bursts of internal heat, small but measurable, heat that no known natural process could explain. There were no jets of gas, no sunlight reflections, no collisions. It was glowing from within. Then came the eruption. On October 5th, NASA's Deep Space Network detected a sudden spike in infrared radiation coming from 3I slash ATLAS. Within minutes, the object brightened tenfold, releasing a powerful burst of energy, the kind of energy usually associated with solar flares or neutron stars. But this wasn't a star. It was a fragment of rock, maybe metallic, moving through the void and suddenly behaving like a reactor. The data streamed live on NASA's public feed until just as the readings peaked, the feed went offline. A few seconds of static, then nothing. Officially, NASA called it a technical malfunction. But sources inside the Jet Propulsion Laboratory claim the shutdown was intentional. Something appeared in the data, a structured pattern in the emission signal. Something too regular to be random. When decoded spectrographically, the eruption's light wasn't uniform. It carried a repeating pulse a precise mathematical rhythm in base intervals of 2, 3, and 5. Prime number sequences, the kind we often associate with intelligence. To many, that may sound sensational, but it's worth remembering. Prime sequences are how humanity itself first planned to communicate with alien civilizations. In the 1974 Arecibo message, Carl Sagan and Frank Drake encoded information about Earth using prime-based patterns, assuming that any intelligent species would recognize their universal logic. Now, decades later, 3I slash ATLAS has emitted the same kind of signal and then vanished. The eruption itself wasn't chaotic, it was controlled. The energy release was concentrated and brief, just under 11 seconds. Too consistent to be an accident. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Avi Loeb called it a deliberate event. Others, more cautious, suggest it could have been a form of outgassing, a natural venting of trapped ice. But even that explanation doesn't add up. The amount of heat measured would have vaporized the object completely. Yet after the flare, 3I slash ATLAS remained intact, but completely dark. That silence, that sudden blackout, is what haunts scientists the most, because in space, when something disappears like that, it often means one of two things. Either it was destroyed or it changed. The James Webb Space Telescope immediately scanned the coordinates again, but there was no reflection, no heat, no debris. It was as though 3I slash ATLAS had turned itself off. Some researchers believe it may have entered a cloaked or dormant phase, absorbing energy rather than emitting it. Others suggest it's using some kind of shielding technology, similar to a magnetic plasma barrier, which could make it invisible to our instruments. If that's true, 
then this isn't a natural object. It's something engineered, something designed to travel, to power up, and to hide. You can feel the tension in every observatory now. Scientists aren't just studying. They're watching, waiting, almost holding their breath, because this moment feels different. Many of you remember 1969 when humanity took its first step on the moon. The entire world watched in awe as we reached beyond our world for the first time. But now the feeling is reversed. It's not us reaching for the unknown. It's the unknown reaching toward us. NASA, ESA, and Harvard's Center for Astrophysics are quietly collaborating on new simulations. The current trajectory data shows that before the blackout, 3i slash ATLAS slightly altered its path by 0.02 degrees. It's almost imperceptible but mathematically significant. It means the object changed course, something a drifting rock cannot do on its own. The models predict that if this trajectory continues, it will pass closer to the inner solar system than ever before, potentially brushing the orbit of Mars within the next six months. Whether this is coincidence or intention, no one can say. But if the object is indeed maneuvering, then it's not just a visitor, it's a traveler. What could have caused the eruption? Some say it's a cryovolcanic event, ice exploding under internal pressure, but there's no evidence of volatile compounds on its surface. Others suspect it might be a power release, the activation of a propulsion system unlike anything we've ever seen. Imagine a fusion-based drive that ignites briefly, propelling an object light years with only short bursts. It's not fantasy, it's physics pushed to its highest edge. If this was a form of propulsion, then 3i slash ATLAS may not be a comet at all. It could be a probe, ancient, autonomous, built by a civilization far older than ours. A vessel designed to drift between stars powered by the same forces that forge suns. And that's where the fear comes in, because if something built it, then something sent it. The eerie part is how familiar this idea feels. In 1977, the Voyager spacecraft left Earth carrying a golden record, humanity's greeting to the cosmos. On that record were our sounds, our music, our hopes. We imagine someone, somewhere, might one day find it. Now imagine that the same concept existed billions of years ago, only we're the ones who found their version of Voyager. But unlike our probe, this one isn't silent. It pulses, flares, and now it hides. NASA's infrared specialist tried to pick up residual heat signatures after the feed cut out. For several minutes, faint ripples in the cosmic background radiation appeared, like the wake left behind a moving ship. The reading shifted direction, then vanished completely. It's as though the object accelerated and went dark by choice. In the days following, the ESA reported another anomaly. A small distortion, you know, a gravitational ripple, moved through a nearby patch of interstellar gas. It wasn't massive enough to be a black hole or star, but it was moving with purpose. One scientist compared it to a fish diving beneath the surface of a cosmic ocean. And perhaps that's exactly what it did. If 3i slash ATLAS did erupt deliberately, it might have been signaling, sending a burst of light, not just toward us, but outward, toward the stars. Some believe it was activating, reaching for a network we can't see, a web of communication stretching across light years. Others think it was testing us, broadcasting a message to see who was watching. Whatever the truth, one thing is certain, NASA isn't revealing everything. The live feed that went dark has not been restored. When asked about it, agency representatives said only that data from that channel has been archived for analysis. But archive means hidden. Something in those frames, something the public wasn't meant to see, might hold the answer. And that answer could redefine everything we believe about life, intelligence, and our place in the cosmos. For decades, we've searched for signs of others, radio signals, infrared beacons, Dyson spheres, we found nothing but silence. Yet silence, as any physicist knows, isn't the absence of sound. It's the space between signals, the waiting before something speaks again. Perhaps 3i slash ATLAS has spoken, and now it waits for us to respond. It's humbling, isn't it, to realize that we may not be the only storytellers in the universe. Maybe this eruption, eh, this brilliant flash before silence, wasn't destruction but communication, 
a cosmic Morse code, a way of saying, we are here. And maybe, just maybe, it's waiting for our reply. Do you believe 3i slash ATLAS is a natural phenomenon or the work of something far older, far wiser? Tell me what you think below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still looks up at the night sky with childlike wonder. Because someday soon we may learn that we were never alone in this cosmic ocean and that even now something out there is watching, waiting, and whispering through the stars.